Pokemon fans, I'm Professor K. And I'm Ann. And welcome to another Mega Mailbox Mania Mornings. This is the first one since I have returned from Connecticut, and a lot of this stuff actually came from Connecticut. From Lucky you. <laughs> you got to go to Connecticut. Yeah, I did. But there's some stuff for you, don't worry. Oh, there is? Yes, there Yay. is some stuff from you. Some fans that we met up with actually did give us some stuff for uh, Mega Mailbox Mania Mornings, and some of that is for N. So we do have some cool stuff. Um, I'm actually going to start off with a couple of trades that I did in person there. Um, the first one I'm going to start off with is probably the best one by far. It's pretty darn insane, actually. I have to say, <clears throat> two particular fans that I made trades with, thank you so much again because I've never even seen this card in person. And now, well, I got one. So, this is an IRL trade, not a TCBM. From Uncontrolled Flame, I originally wrote uh, the Red Warrior because that's their YouTube URL, but the channel name is actually Uncontrolled Flame. I will put a link in the description down below for the people here who do have channels. <clears throat> so make sure you guys check those out. Uncontrolled Flame had a binder, came up to me, said that he bought it for from a friend, and somebody at the event offered $800 for it. I looked at the first page. The first page was worth $800. So I told him, don't do it. You're going to get ripped off. But after it was all said and done, I said, you know, there's some cards there I wouldn't mind trading for. Would you be willing to trade for them? He said, yeah. Looks through my binder, uh, comes up with a, a trade that was just way in my favor, and I said, no, not going to do it. Please take more cards. So I had him take more cards. It was still in my favor because he said he wanted to uh, keep it in my favor because of the channel. But nonetheless, I feel better about it. I wasn't going to rip him off. So anyways, Uncontrolled Flame. Here's the trade. First of all, he had me look through the binder and find a card that I thought you would like. Oh, cool. I saw this Latias and I was like, I know you like Latias. Yes, Latias is very cool. So he gave it to me to give to you. Aw, thank so, you. There you go. Now for the rest of the trade... Uh, I'm going to put it in order of which I think it's most impressive. Okay. The first card in that binder was a Crystal Golem Hollow. Now, crystals are really hard to come by. Um, I actually only own a few myself, and I just don't see them very often. Especially in hollow form. The hollows are more desired. Golem is probably one of the cheaper ones, but still really cool. So, traded for the Golem. We also traded for this reverse hollow Crystal Kabutops which is also really cool, I think. Not the hollow. The hollow is really, really pricey, but the reverse is a little bit cheaper. The reverses are in general. But this still isn't even the best thing because the final card that we traded for and the one that I will be eternally grateful to you for allowing me to trade you for is a Rayquaza Gold Star. Yeah, I never thought in my life I would even see one of these in person and now we have one. <laughs> you really are too kind, Professor. You really are too kind. Well, I mean, honestly, it's okay because Super Silver Galaxy Boy also traded me for a Rayquaza Gold Star. <laughs> Wait, so I get to actually keep this one? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just saying I have another one. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> truth be told, uh, the one from Super Silver Galaxy Boy is in much worse condition. It's not like super super bad it's still really cool and we also made a very good trade for it too just wanted a couple of cards but um nonetheless thank you super super silver galaxy boy because this one i will probably just put in my collection and this one i probably will send off to get graded even though it's probably not going to come back any better than a seven just because it's a rayquaza gold star these two cards are super hard to come by i've never seen them in real life and I go to an event and manage to pick up two of them. So super, super awesome, guys. Um, Uncontrolled Flame was the first one. And then Super Silver Galaxy Boy came up to me afterwards. But we've been emailing about trading for this for a long time and never made it happen. So we finally did in person. So thank you both, guys, for these trades. They're just out of this world, literally, because, you know, it's Rayquaza. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> also, there were a bunch of cards that were given to us uh, before I get into the other one that I don't remember exactly who they came from, but I do remember what they represented. Uh, someone gave me four Coma OGXs to give to you because they say that it is playable, even though you say it is not. I mean, I <laughs> wish it was playable. I love the way Coma Mo looks, but... Someone said uh, use the, the new Mew with counter, was it counter energy? I think, I can't remember what it was. One of the types of energy, there's a new type of energy comes out and you can power it up in one turn that way. Huh? So, yeah. So those combos are for you. Wait, 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 wait. The new energy coming out is warp energy, isn't it? There's another energy too. 
I just can't remember what the name of it is. Plus, I'm tired, oh, so... Oh, that energy. Well, it only counts as two energy if either you have more prize cards. I think it's if you have more prize yeah, cards. Yeah, that's what it is. If it you counts have as two more prize colorless. Cards. That's... Exactly. But that's two colorless. And then Mew allows you to move two of any energy. So, it could technically what work. What are we talking about? It's a new Mew. I don't even... I, I haven't been keeping up very much either. It's just what I was told. But anyways, another fan came up to me and said, Hey, I got something for you. I saw this and I had to get it for you. And I was like, Oh, wow. I wonder what this could be. Gee, thanks. <laughs> I really wish I was at Connecticut. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, buddy. No, super nice guy. But uh, nonetheless, it's just a Helioptile. <laughs> Anyways, uh, also some Japanese cards. Um, oh, that's for later. Uh, let's see. Some uh, so in, the, in the group of people that I was eating, or that I was supposed to be eating lunch, but I was hanging out with instead, uh, gave me a whole bunch of cards from, uh, a whole bunch of Japanese cards from the newest set as well along with this Gyarados GX Japanese card. So, thank you very much for those as well. And this one is for you, and then you can open up that. This is... Ow! Ow! Nice one. <laughs> I kicked the lamp. This is gonna be a halucha, isn't it? Nope. And you smell... <laughs> Alakazam. That's from Jess Alakazam. It was a joke, more than anything. That's oh, that's who the Komos came from. They came from Jess Alakazam, I believe. I don't smell. Alright, so we got an FCBM from... Tegan. Uh, no. It's Tegan, I promise. That, that spelling could not be Tegan. It is. Alright, make sure that... Okay, this is... Oh, it's address up. So goes right back in. Alright. That name. Hello, my name is... Uh, why, though? If it's pronounced that way, why spell it another? Everybody likes to be different. <laughs> I'm Chris with a K, so that's it, right? And this is... Hi, my name is Tegan, and this is the second time I've sent you something. So I'm giving you a custom made pack. Also, it didn't work last time, so sub to my channel. T Tim, T, T money, T money. Okay, the T separate from the M. All right. Also, two from the back to the front. All right. So there's two custom packs here. We have to sign this, and this is a signature card from Tegan. All right. So I'll put the choice band back, and I have a custom pack, and so do you. All right. All right. Well, a custom card here. Oh, it's a full art Pikachu. Very nice from Generations. Thank All you right. very much. Thank you. Thank you. I've always liked that Pikachu. Looks cool. That does. All right. Let's see what my card is. Oh, shoot. It's a Gardevoir GX. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Indeed. Holy cow. Oh, man. I, I, you know what? This is still probably the best deck out there, I have to say. Uh, I faced a lot of this in Connecticut, three of them to be exact, and they were always at least semi-tough for Galissapod, even though it's a good matchup for Galissapod. Gardevoir is still a scary deck. Thank you so much for that. That's super awesome of you. All right, the last thing I have here uh, is a bunch of stuff that was set, uh, given to me in Connecticut by Wishiwashi TCG, also known as Stunf at Stunfisk on Twitter. So um, this was all given to me in person. We got some cards here. We got a Kyogre, a Keldeo, Monkey, 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 and then for N we've got Slowbro. Who? Bill Cosby. Okay. Zora. Monkey. 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 Yeah. Um, what was in this? Oh, geez, ton All of right. cards. Ton of cards. All right. So I know this first stack is for you. Oh. And then this stack was from me. So we'll do those last, now that I realize where we're at. And then there was a whole bunch of cards in here. We got Vic of Old Hollow, Axew Hollow, a Zoroark oh, from a uh, black and white number nine. That's promo. actually my favorite looking Zoroark card ever. Uh, Thunderous. <laughs> Thunderous. A couple of Gengars, Magnazone, uh, Dragonite, Nido King Break, Omastar Break, Lucario Hollow, Chandelure, Zapdos, Arcanine, another Vic Volt, 
Reverse Gudra, Mimikyu, there's a fish for you, Crobat, hey. Aegislash, Kangaskhans, Carbinks, Gudra, uh, Alolan Muck, Absol, Kangaskhan, Escavalier, Ribombi, Chestnut, Machamp, Slowpoke, <laughs> Sceptile, Dunsparce, and... Wait, really? No. Okay, cool. No. It says rip me. I ripped you. <laughs> All right, and then I'll let you go through your stack of cards, and then I'll go through mine. All righty. All right, so I see here Bill Cosby, Invisible. No. Bill Cosby. Zora, Grandpa Dunsparce, Helioptile, Cosby, Cosby. Six points, Cosby, Cosby, Cosby. I don't know what those are. Zora, Grandpa, C. <coughs> Celio. Celio Cantos, Lily. Gonna get this Cosby. That's exactly what he wanted you to do, by the way. He did? Yeah. Awesome. Glad I was able to fulfill your wish. All right, so I see this again. A couple more Lilies. And a very, very ripped up invisible card. <laughs> Put back together just for you. <laughs> Aw, people do think about me. Sometimes. Right? Well, they're giving you a lot of cards Ooh. you can't see, apparently. Very, but no, I know, jokes aside, I am very grateful for this stack. Thank you very much. Alright, and the final stack of cards here. Take these out of the way, finally. It's a lot of monkeys. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a Gumi, and then ew, ew. Okay. Ew, 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 ew. It's for you. Gumi, okay. Ew. Frogadier, good. Corfish. Frogadier. Froakie, Froakie, Froakie. Mm, ew, 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 ew. Okay. Ew. Okay. Ew. Ew. Oh, sweet! This is the free retreat star you. I need this. Thank you. Um, ew. Esper. Ew. Frogadier. 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 Froki. Slowking. Froki. Greninja. Oh, good. A ripped up Halucha. Perfect. I don't even have to do it. That's perfect. Halucha? <laughs> did I say Halucha? Yes, you did. Why did I say Halucha? Helioptile. Oh, my gosh. Gumi. Gumi. Froki. Froki. Frogadier. Ew. Corvish. Pampor. Ew. Yay. That's gross. Semipore is gross. Pantage is gross. That's gross. Uh, we got a Dratini from base set. That's not gross. Japanese Fossil Tentacool. That's a little bit gross. Jungle Eevee. We got a couple of Stunfisks, which uh, is one of his favorite Pokemon from a few different sets here. Trico, Behem, Ampharos, Poliwag, uh, Oracorio, Absol, Drampa, Pikachu, Fighting Energy, Reverse, Spanish, Robo Substitute. Let me see. I don't know Spanish. Oh my gosh. Uh, whoa! Messed up Glyscore. And an Empoleon that's also equally as messed up, but still cool cards. Very cool. Alright, thank you Wishy Washy TCG, thank you Super Silver Galaxy Boy, thank you um, to Uncontrolled Flame, and Tegan as well. Everybody except for Tegan was actually given to us, uh, given to me at Connecticut. Uh, we threw that one in for the video. But uh, thank you guys so much for so- Hi Tegan! That's literally, if I if you pronounce it the way it looks, it's Tide oh. Hagin. Oh my gosh. Uh, can, I, can I please call you Tide Hagin? Let's see what they say in the comments, I guess. Actually, that sounds really cool. That sounds like a Street Fighter name. Kind of does. Now entering, Tide Hagin wins. <laughs> it does actually sound kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Again, big shout outs to all these people. Uh, Wish You Watching TCG has a YouTube channel. I know um, so does uh, Uncontrolled Flame. I'm not sure if Super Silver Galaxy Boy does or not, but we will look. Um, Jess Alakazam also has sent this card in the Comos. Uh, also has a channel. We opened up a pack of first edition base set. They paid $400 at the event for that pack and opened it on camera on his channel. And they did not pull a dud. So you guys have to go and check that out. I'll try to find the video. And uh, link in the description down below as well, so you guys can go check it out. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. Until then, I'm Professor K. And I'm Man. For the Pokemon Evolutionaries, you all take care. Have a great day.